Starting out on lake levels on this Sunday night, thanks to a lack of rainfall over the last few months, it's not been good. And you can see Lake Corpus Christi at 51% full with Choke Canyon at 35. And the important number to watch is that combined level of both that is now below 40%, which is not good. Whenever it drops below 40%, we have to start talking about stage one water restrictions here in the coastal bend. Now, the city of Corpus Christi hasn't officially announced anything just yet, but by this week, we'll get more information on that as we start talking about water restrictions here in South Texas. Well, the headlines for this week looks pretty good. Mild weather through Tuesday. A New Year's Eve cold front is on the way, and that's going to bring rain chances, colder air, and some possible potential wintry mix into our northern counties. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. But first tonight, temperatures mild, not cold whatsoever. Overnight lows drop into the lower 60s under partly cloudy skies, mostly clear and winds calming down below 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then by tomorrow morning, early Monday, we're talking about an overnight low of about 60 to 61 to kick off your work week. Now after midnight with a lot of humidity and moisture in the air, we may see some pretty dense fog west of Corpus Christi. So if you're driving out early tomorrow morning, if you're commuting anywhere across the area uh, from Corpus Christi to Beeville to San Antonio to Alice, Orange Grove, we're talking some pockets of fog, uh, reduced visibility down to a quarter mile, if not less. So please be careful out there. Leave a little extra early out the door for tomorrow morning. Right now it's mostly clear and it's very mild. We saw a lot of sunshine. High temperatures topped out in the upper 70s for your Sunday. It was great. Plenty of sunshine. And you'll see a little active out across the uh, continental US with some snowfall moving into the Midwest, along with some cloud cover moving into the four corners as well. Now we have a uh, broad area of low pressure across the uh, western coast. And just right now, a lot of cloud cover and it's a deepening trough and this is going to swing onshore through about tomorrow morning. With it, it's going to be a spark in the atmosphere to get rain going late Wednesday, early Thursday morning. Uh, for Corpus Christi and South Texas. You can see most of the uh, organized rainfall be up I-35 into Dallas and into North Texas. But with this area of low pressure, it's going to latch on to some colder air and bring it farther south early Thursday morning for New Year's Eve. Now you'll see a, a pretty good rain chance early Thursday morning around 2 and 3 a.m. across the area. Scattered showers in the forecast with a few isolated thunderstorms can't be ruled out here in the area. But look on the back side of this system, some snowfall for possibly northern San Antonio, the Hill Country, uh, the Concho Valley, San Angelo into North Texas. And some models are a little generous on bringing this to uh, maybe uh, Victoria, George West Beville. But right now I'm going to keep it north of I-10 until we get some more data in. Uh, for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, it looks pretty good. Clearing skies and a lot of sunshine, just colder air is in the forecast. Temperatures are going to drop from the upper 70s on Wednesday the upper 50s on Thursday, which is New Year's Eve. So all day New Year's Eve, clearing skies, some sunshine, but cooling temperatures, uh, lower 50s for the evening hours and upper 40s as we get into the late night hours. Tomorrow's forecast, warm and mild temperatures in the upper 70s, sunny skies, southeast winds upwards of 20 and seven day forecast uh, shows that warming trend through Tuesday. Rain chance late Wednesday into early Thursday. New Year's Eve, a morning low of 41 with a high temperature of 57. Mike.